Hello, and welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. Uh, it is a, a new day for me. I, I haven't touched this game in about a week and a half since I queued up a, a ton of episodes. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the series. I know that the, it hasn't been super popular, but um, I you know, don't do necessarily everything for growth, and I wanted to do this game, so I have no regrets in that matter. Uh, I plan on finishing this game, and there is currently a uh, vote for what uh, will be the next series. So if you're interested in, uh, you know, uh, influencing the course of the channel, go and check that out. But uh, in the meantime, I'm feeling a little under the weather, so you might hear me sniffle, or my voice might be a little bit more gravelly, but I have a questionably tall coffee to uh, hopefully uh, cure what ails me and uh we'll we'll go ahead and get into it um we've got a few end game story plot lines to wrap up but um uh, we've also got some like side stories that are still pending and have been pending for a long time including getting to know emphas which i've been wanting to do since basically the beginning of the game so uh let's go ahead and jump into it Emphis is preparing the Girol caps. He has, uh, is it Girole? Girole? Is it French? He has had to heavily adapt his recipe, he says, but the smell is already incredible. It emanates from a strange purplish white bulb you have never seen before, and he is slicing it finely. He brushes and slices the mushrooms and then places them in the wok with the sliced bulb and the oil. They caramelize there in that well-worn crucible. He adds liquids, transparent and opaque, and then turns down the heat. A sprinkle of leaves is the final touch. We have a moment, sleeper, he smiles. Do you have a story? Something in the scent of the food gives you a feeling of nostalgia, something distant and melancholic. It seems like the story should match that feeling somehow, and maybe you will feel better for telling it. Uh, tell, recall your oldest memories. You start by explaining that when you are emulated from a person, many of your memories are left behind. Perhaps it is an intentional part of the process, a way of keeping sleepers ignorant and malleable, or perhaps it is a side effect of the imperfect emulation. You admit that you don't really know. What you do know is that some memories survive, and that on occasion they come back to you, like shadows passing overhead. You detail one recurring memory which, despite returning to you with enough regularity for you to think it familiar, always fades as quickly as it arrives. You struggle to explain the feeling of being whole for a moment that comes with this memory, and then how that wholeness slips away to leave you feeling like you have forgotten something important, but just can't bring it to mind. Emphis nods throughout, cooking as he does with deft and skillful movements. You start to trail off when you realize you can't find the words to explain how the memories you do have feel like both yours and someone else's at the same time, and how that always fills you with a certain sadness. The sadness of remaining forever unknown, even to yourself. Emphis finishes cooking and meets your eye. I'm sorry, sleeper, for your troubles. He puts the lock to one side. I appreciate you sharing with me, he smiles. I hope it lightens you a little. He passes you a bowl and heaps the girol into it, uh, their color, their yellow color mixing with the pale sauce in a whorls and blooms. Eat. The dish is delicious, filling. It warms you as you eat in a way that you weren't even sure your body could be warmed. It is a small mercy, you think, that S and Arp left you this pleasure. Many of the features of frames are there to simulate human experience, you know that much. Emulated minds cannot be rewired, so their need for embodied experience must be met. That is why you breathe e even when you do not need air. Without that simulation, the sensation of drowning would be unbearable. Food serves another purpose. Your frame is able to metabolize it, to produce energy from the raw material. Vitamins and minerals are excess, of course. Your frame only needs raw power, so much is wasted. And yet, while you eat this food, and feel that warmth. Nothing feels wasted. It all means something to you. As you finish, Emphis takes the bowl, the last of his cleaning. He smiles at you, and neither you, uh, neither of you feel the need to say anything more. 
Instead, you simply exchange nods and walk your separate ways back into the bright market. Somehow changed. Oh yeah? Is that it? Ah! He wants Matsutake now. Alright. Why? Fine. I can get Matsutake. I'll get Matsutake for you, Emphis. <clears throat> we have something pending here. No? Uh, oh, this is just a merchant returning. Uh, the business regarding um, the generation ship is still pending. That's something we're going to try and deal with today, perhaps. Let's ascend the hub and see what we can do. And, uh, Bliss's Bay, Repair Bay. So let's see here. Bliss is bidding on jobs at the hub. It'll take a few cycles and some perseverance before one comes in. Right, this is a new thread. Uh, I haven't really explored that at all. But we do have new things. Side reel dock. Side reel horizon departure terminal. Aha, here we go. Scout the dock. Risky. But we have plus one on that. Uh, we will potentially learn uh, of a way to sneak someone on board. Um, the, the worst that happens, I guess, is a negative on their energy, which I'm totally fine with. Uh, I think I would rather just spend a four on this for now. Because it's uh, basically a win. Positive outcome. A way on board. There we go. Quite the achievement, isn't she? Oh, it's Caster. Old buddy Caster was wondering if he was going to come back. Uh, Sendricellus must be proud. You recognize the resonating voice of Caster immediately and turn to see him, hooded and tucked into the shadows near the viewing platform. Caster. I see you remember our game. Good. He looks around, but the platform is clear. I'm afraid you'll have to wait for a rematch. Microgravity makes a, a tavla a little difficult. He smiles broadly. Caster walks out to stand beside you on the platform. The telltale clunk of magnetic boots accompanies his slow crossing. He notices you looking at them. I don't much like it up here, he explains. I hear there was some trouble at the Havenage shipyard when they announced the results of the crew lottery. They screwed us. I know, he sighs, meeting your eye. An ugly business. Silas are too used to the way things work in the core. Exploitation is the only logic they know. He gestures out at the side reel. You know why they built this monstrosity on the eye? Money. That was a part, perhaps, but there are cheaper shipyards. He stares at the pristine yellow hull. Silas built it here, says Castor gravely, because they didn't want anyone to know it exists. He rubs his forehead. And secrecy is something I cannot abide. He turns to face you. There are some, uh, there are people being loaded onto that ship as we speak. Sleeping people, locked in cryosleep like the person that you were emulated from. There are hundreds of them, and Celis wants to send them out to a planet at the edge of the settled, uh, settled systems without anyone knowing where it is. But you, sleeper, can do something about that. You are like me. You deal with data. You can read it right out of the air. With someone like you on that ship, secrecy isn't a problem. You can ping back whatever I need, whenever I need it, as long as you are on board. With you on the side reel, and with some minor modifications, he pauses. You can be my eyes and ears. I will keep track of Celis, grand project through you. In short, says Castor, stretching, I can get you aboard, sleeper, but I am going to need you to help me. Uh, what if I disagree? Then I doubt you will find a way onto that ship out there. It's not just me. Yes, your friend Lem. That can be arranged. It is difficult, but not impossible. The condition is, of course, that you go too. Caster clunks closer to the window, watching the tugs wheeling around the side, we, side reel. It's a simple offer, and the only one that will get you on that ship. Please consider it. He turns back, silhouetted against the ship. But to make it happen, I need your assistance, as I said. There is a Celis Foundation ship docked in the now-empty shipyard. I need the data from its servers. This will allow me to produce the IDs necessary for your transit. Caster looks over his glasses at you. Celis aren't stupid, though. Their ship is totally isolated from the station. 
You'll need to get on board if you want access to their airwalled servers. Once you have the data, meet me at your friend's unit so we can give him the good news. He smiles. I noticed his importance to you and the little one. So cute. You don't extract the data before the side rail horizon leaves the hub, and then I will get the message. We have other options, but you are certainly my preferred one. But be sure when you act, sleeper. Once you take the data from Celis, you'll set off a series of events that will likely be hard for you to untangle yourself from. Either way, I recommend you stop asking around up here. You are bringing a lot of attention to yourself. Caster glances around, as if to emphasize his point. There are only a handful of cycles until departure, sleeper. Make your decision. With that, Caster marches back off to the platform. The sound of his mag, mag boots fading away, leaving you to contemplate the side reel horizon and the part it may play in your future. Well, uh, that's kind of a bummer, honestly. I kind of regret starting this. Uh, to be honest, I don't want to leave the eye. Uh, my plan was to stay here. I don't know why you would want to leave. Like, I know, ooh, planet in oh, rain and stuff, and I get it for someone like Lem and his daughter. Well, not daughter, his, uh, you know, uh, adopted daughter. Um, it makes sense doesn't really make sense for someone like uh me the sleeper uh this place is more a home to me than anywhere else so like uh the fact that you know i'm ob obligated to help and i have to leave in order to do so it kind of sucks i have to say i have a lot of uh, loose ends left to tie and in fact this plant nursery it, it, it's pending just as slowly as I have time left. So like this will just barely happen before the side reel project ends. Not to, the, not to mention I wanted to do the DLC. So uh, my hands are kind of tied a little bit. Um, yeah. I, I'm not it's not a good situation <clears throat> I'm gonna forge for some fungus hopefully oh wow I got a negative outcome that's rare uh all right let's forge for some fungus I want some uh, Matsutake maybe you only get Garo from this maybe I should be collecting spores for the Matsutake I don't I think throwing a one on this there's yeah it's not a good idea um seeing as I'm actually gonna be posting this tomorrow I would actually like to get some opinions from the, you know, the people who are watching this like what what would you do would you want to you know help would you want to help Lem enough that you would leave the home that you've kind of created here. I mean, think about it. Uh, I, I've like cleared the station of uh, quite a lot of threats. I have made it so that I can browse, uh, you know, it's interconnected systems without danger. <clears throat> I have freed quite a lot of, you know, people. I've, I've made, a, I've made this place hab habitable. I have people and uh places i can you know work with i can I, i've i've got money i've got sustainability i have a a way to live basically forever um i have also you know kind of freed this place from uh the you know potential danger of being owned by a corporation and uh you know i i also feel like there's a part part of me feels obligated to stay just to make sure that that is true you know what is this Acellus foundation administration ship Acellus infiltration oh is this the this is my option basically uh plan so bold and might even work Acellus lockdown 
so this has a high level of cellist lockdown this is it has a low level of cellist lockdown um careful observation and an instinct for security procedures will help you understand how to sneak on board I don't know if I want to do that. I honestly, uh, it sounds kind of sucky, but I, I would almost like to follow through with this and then screw caster at the last second and just say like, I, I only did this to get Lem on board because that's what they want for themselves and their daughter. But my home is here and um, you're not going to change that. And like the idea of being kind of manipulated in some ways is a like a big red flag like i'm only gonna help you if uh you know you do this thing for me yeah well we'll see let's play uh let fate decide positive outcome okay <clears throat> well that's something we've made progress on that i'm out of dice so we'll go ahead and call it for now. Did I? Oh, okay, I'm good for food. Right, I, I had Girol whatever, so I should be good for food. Good dice, for the most part. Then there's stuff like this merchant freighter. I have yet to do stuff here. Oh no, this is uh, this is new actually. Try to get their goods into the bright market. Buy ship mine fragment. Nah. Uh, this is the one I wanted to potentially do more stuff. The Abergris. This is, uh, potentially important. It's another story thread, basically. Uh, risky, dangerous. If I do this, there's a very good chance I will succeed. Uh, and Ankita has a couple of glitched repair drones in storage. If you can rewire them, they can repair the ambergris for you. Neutral outcome. I am starving. And this is now locked out. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Uh, let's throw a three on this. Neutral outcome again. Uh, we'll spend the six and then re-roll the, the one. I guess I'll come over here and throw a six at this. I'll throw a six at this because you know, why not? I, I really highly doubt that the game would like pigeonhole me in some way, uh, like forcing me to leave like that. But they did outright say that if you know decide only 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 decide you want to do this if you really want it right i feel like the language is clear uh, so i i should be aware of that um we're gonna reroll that one we rolled rerolled it into a four uh definitely want to buy some food let's get to go to, to emphasis stall Buy some food. Pretty sure tomorrow I'm going to be at three dice. I wouldn't mind using a stabilizer to prevent that. I'd rather have six dice and three. Um, <clears throat> I'm not in a rush to progress that cellar ship, so let's go ahead and work on this instead. Oh, we got some scrap for our trouble. Nice. I can repair myself with that. I'm wondering if I shouldn't 
if I I wonder if I would benefit from doing that. Oh, I'm out of dice. I was gonna go and see if I could do some mushroom stuff, but I don't think I can. The aviary? What's going on at the aviary? Oh, I need one more fungal in here. I should have uh, grabbed that and, you know. Well, whatever. It's fine. We'll end the cycle. Ugh. I should have repaired myself now and then I wouldn't have uh, I would be at uh, four dice That's a bummer. Well in that case I may as well use a stabilizer And then I'll use the scrap to stay at five dice instead of uh, degrading Who's this? Moritz. Hey a quiet voice greets you as you leave this uh, leave sleeper. It's me. Who? Moritz, he pauses. I work for Bliss. He rubs at the back of his head. You are not an easy person to find. I move around. Moritz holds up his hands. Hey, no judgment. It's cool. You both stand there for a moment, each waiting for the other to speak. So? Uh, yes, well, uh, Bliss needs you. Uh, a job just came in, a really big one. She's asking for you to come up and help her out. He nods sagely. Okay, soon. Soon, he repeats it back to himself. Look, Bliss said I've got to get you right now. So, you know, he shrugs. Now is better than soon. Um, Moritz stands there for a little while, unsure if the message is delivered. I've got it. Cool, cool, cool. He looks around. Bliss just likes me to do a thorough job, you know? He rubs his hands together before burying them in his jacket pockets. See you, sleeper. Moritz, uh, Moritz, Moritz ambles off down the corridor, kicking at a filter cap on his way out. Time to head to Bliss's Bay, then. Uh, more threads. More threads that I'm not sure I'm even going to be able to complete. I really don't want to sacrifice, like, four storylines for Lem and, uh, Mina. What is this? Oh, this is, uh, what, um, Bliss needs? Uh... Interesting. Risky, danger. Somehow Bliss swung a tanker contract, but the catch is that the work needs to be turned around fast. Too fast. Ah, I'm gonna have to use like all of my dice on this. Well, we can definitely do full system flush. So that'll probably Oh yeah, that'll that'll solve it right. Oh, we can only do that once, huh? Shoot. Well, if I use up the rest of my dice... Oh, these are Endure? God damn it. Then I should be able to solve this now. Positive outcome. Come on, positive outcome. Ah! Frustrating. I used up all my dice on that. Yeah, so the side reel is is uh, progressing whether we like it or not. I wonder... Let me go back up there for a moment. I wonder if maybe there's uh, information here? No? Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any anything I can hack. You would think that there'd be some way of like progressing this with information. I wonder if there's like other storylines that if I had progressed, I would have alternative ways than just caster. Okay, so we've got two scrap. I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, let's go and finish off Bliss's thing real quick. We'll use a six on this. 
Neutral outcome. Good thing I used the six. As you both wait in the airlock for it to cycle back to the bay, Bliss uh, thumps you on the arm. Nicely done, sleeper. We cleared that contract, no problem. She stretches. Once we are back in the bay, we can check if the payment has come through and divide it up. She stretches. Feels good. The airlock clunks and the lights flicker, and a moment later you are back in the bay, where Moritz is at the racks, trying to figure out where the mess of tools Bliss left in her wake should be hung. Hey, Moritz. Moritz looks over his shoulder. Sleeper. He spins a wrench in his hand. Looks like a, looked like a clean work out there. He nods respectfully. You look over at Bliss, who is already gliding over to her management console. She twirls a little as she crosses the cavernous bay. No one you've ever met moves as well in zero-g as she does. It's like she was born into it. Shit. Bliss slams a fist on the console. Shit, shit, shit. What's up? I can't even. Bliss closes her eyes. Come here. Bliss calls you over. Look at this. Just look. She spins the terminal screen and you see the details for the bay's account. You see an entry for the ember's wake. A repair fee paid in full the moment you p finish the job. But then directly after, the whole amount was transferred back into an unknown account. How can that happen? I can tell you how. My ex is a sneaky little conniving shit. She punches the terminal. He must have coded a backdoor into the machine before he left. She rubs her forehead. There's no way we can... She pauses thinking. Moritz, throw me that wrench. You gonna fix it? Moritz spins the wrench across the bay. Bliss smiles, something like that. Bliss brings the wrench down on the terminal, hard. You flinch backwards as a hail of computer parts spill up into the bay in a glittering arc. Fragments of screen and memory sections of the casing. When Bliss is done, she clips the wrench to her tool belt. Try backdooring your way into that, you little shit. Moritz drifts out from his hiding place amongst the racks. Bliss, he says tentatively. You want me to, uh... He looks at the arc of fragments drifting across, around the bay nervously. Bliss shakes her head. No, she sighs. I've got it. You go get me a new terminal, cheapest you can find. Cobble one together from pieces at the Ort Exchange if you have to. Can I help? Bliss glides over to a panel by the wall. Don't worry. One of the first things I had installed when we specced out this place was a cleaning sweep. She flicks over a plastic cover on a huge red button. Watch yourself. She hammers the button and a row of laser emitters unfold from the bay wall. They start crawling their way across the work area, frying the debris as they put in pulses of burning light. Bliss smiles. It's that or just space the whole bay every few cycles. What? We keep at it. The cleaning sweep buzzes and crackles as it works its way across the bay. That account wasn't everything. I'm not that stupid. Once Moritz uh, gets back, I'll secure it and flush everything else. She flicks a nearby piece of debris into the path of the sweep. Clean break. Then we take another contract. That's it. She shuts off the sweep as it reaches the near end of the bay. You don't want the cryo back? Oh, I want it, but it's gone. He could have transferred, in, uh, transferred it anywhere. She looks out across the hub. And even if I knew where he was, the last thing I want is to ever see him again. She rubs her forehead. I'm sorry, sleeper. I know you worked for this too, but next time won't be the same. That's okay. She smiles. See you in a few cycles. Moritz will let you know. She winks and kicks off into the bay to finish cleaning up. Well, that sucks. What's the deal here? All you can do is move on and wait for Bliss to land another contract, maybe this time. Like I don't, I, I I'm, I don't have a lot of money right now. <laughs> Could have used that. Whatever. I I need some food. Is what I need. <clears throat> I really don't know what to do about this Celis ship business. Let's uh, I'll, I'll progress this for now. Spend a three on it. I guess we spend a two on it. I, I don't know. I come over here and spend a 
six, I guess. That's gonna that's gonna complete it though. Extract Celis data. Interface two. Uh plus fifty-three cryo. Let's re-roll these dice. Okay, we've got a four. Yeah, there it is. Is that it? The data is extracted. What is this cat? Oh, there's Caster. When you arrive at Lem and Mina's unit, Caster's already waiting outside, leaning beside the door. Forgive me, Sleeper, but Celis is already buzzing with news of the breach. I was expecting you. I don't like you tracking me. That is unfortunate, Sleeper, because that is exactly what I will be doing for the foreseeable future. Caster reaches into a pocket and produces a sleek green and white hand terminal. The data, please. Hand it over. You hand over a drive with the data and Caster fishes around for a converter cable to hook it up. He slots it into the terminal and after some worrying, a set of two transparent films marked with numeric sequences are produced. Two tickets to an uncertain future, Caster smiles to himself. The child will go with Lem, of course. He pockets them. These are yours, but first, he holds out a white cube. Your side of the deal. What is it? Something to help us make use of you. He passes you the square and you rest it in your palm. A small, white, perfect cube. Suddenly, you feel a sharp pain and flinch. The cube jumps up from your hand and rattles along the walkway. You look at Caster apologetically. Not to worry, it has done its job. Now it is you, uh, for you to do yours. You look down and see a tiny pinprick in the center of your palm. Nothing sinister, Caster puts the terminal away. This way we can keep track of you and the side reel horizon. I didn't agree to this. You did, sleeper. Caster adjusts his glasses. You have to understand that I could have done this without you knowing. This way, everything is on the table, so to speak. Caster hands you the transparent films, and you see shimmering portraits of you and Lem flickering beneath the surface. Go give him the good news, and he reaches across the buzzes you and buzzes the unit. Lem slides open the door, half dressed in his gear. Sleeper, what brings you up here? Come in. He beckons you inside. You look to the side, expecting to see Caster, but the wall is empty. The unit is cleaner, better organized than last time. Lem sits at the thin bar and gestures for you to sit. Mina's with some of the local kids. Someone has started doing lessons down the way. She seems to like it. Sit. You sit at the bar. What's up, sleeper? I have some news. Out with it, then. I have Celis IDs for us. You have... Lem freezes. How? He blinks rapidly, as if to wipe you from his vision. Does that mean... Yep. Lem stands up and paces around the unit. We have to pack. He starts laughing. Holy shit, we have to pack. He turns back to you, smiling. How the hell did you swing this sleeper? I made a deal. What a deal. Color me impressed. You show him the ID films and he whistles at the portraits. Impressive stuff. He pats you on the shoulder. You should stay until Mina gets home. We can tell her together. I have to go. Of course. Well, if we need to do anything, give me a shout. He smiles warmly and then impulsively hugs you. I'll see you on the big day, alright? Take care of those passes. He laughs again at nothing in particular. You get up and go, looking one last time for Caster as you exit the unit, but he is still gone. And when you look, uh, the cube doesn't seem to be where you dropped it. You walk back through the low end. It sounds muffled in your ears, deep in thought. I got an achievement. Uh, I kind of want to know what that achievement is for. Do whatever it takes to get that ticket. All right. Yeah, I, I'm not happy about it, to be honest. But, well, whatever. There's three cycles left before the plant nursery has done its job. Kind of want to collect some spores. 
Nope. Uh, nope. Yeah, so... Three cycles left on... The plant. And I'm very curious about what the plan is, but uh, there's five cycles left. So I will at least get to see the result of the plant. Maybe. Uh, unless it leads to other strings, you know? But... Yeah. I have some food and then we're going to sleep. And I'm going to end the episode there. Well, I guess uh, you can still let me know what you would do. Um, maybe don't give me meta information. Like, <clears throat> but I don't yet know if there isn't a way out of this. If there is no way out of this. But either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here, and I hope you are enjoying the series. If you are, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, take it easy.